So you've been working in metric and now you wish to work in inches in Imperial. So to make life easier in the future, the first thing I would do before you leave your metric project is create a metric template that has all the settings that are valid, reasonable for a beginning project in metric. So what you would do there is simply go into the project settings and say yes I want metric rules and no I want uh, metric gray to start with. I like the plain doors, round knobs are okay. I'm good. This is fine. So this is now what you would do f for a starting project and then just save that as metric and it will have your settings. Now, you all you need to do then would be to, to delete all of this, open the metric, delete this, and then do a save as next time you're going to go into a metric project. But we're going to move into an imperial one. So there's a, the first time setting it up is a little tricky, but the first thing you have to do is go in and change your filter. So now we're going to filter out metric because we want to be in imperial. So we'll do that and then we're going to restart SketchUp. So we're going to close this one. So change filter then close SketchUp. Now reopen SketchUp Okay. go into model info and change the units from metric to let's say fractional inches and remember to turn off the display units format because it just makes everything a little more clear. Okay we're good now we bring up cab maker now that we've made those changes okay now that we've made up brought up cab maker we, we see imperial rules but we want to change this to say um, imperial Baltic and we want to change these to plain doors. It just makes life a little easier to do most of your work with a plain door a little faster and then switch doors later on with a batch edit. Okay so now that we're, we've got that done we're going to go OK and we're going to come back in and we're going to just check to make sure that everything looks good. So these numbers here aren't quite right so we'll refresh the template uh, and then it will be what we want and we're going to look at the uh, rules they look good materials are all in inches door settings are in inches uh, we're ready so we're going to check it out test it out and there is a cabinet and we're going to verify that this cabinet we're going to just set D for dimension I've set a, a shortcut 22 36 and then whatever the height is I think I set it to 30 and a half or something like that okay now we have an imperial template. So let's now save that as imperial or inches, whatever you want to call it, and you're ready. So now at this point it's very simple to switch back and forth between imperial and metric. So what you would do is again go in and change your filter so now we're going to filter out Imperial because we're going back to metric. Open. Then what we're going to do is close this and then come back in. Open our metric template. And everything should be the way we left it. Your project settings are all set up for metric. Now we can do, go back to the, the Imperial and work that way. So again, let's try that. Filter out metric. We're going back to Imperial. Close SketchUp. 
reopen SketchUp, open up the Imperial, and everything set up the way we left it. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye now.